In this video, I want to show you another screen recorder tool that you have available to you to help flip your classroom. This tool is the Active Inspire screen recorder. So if you open Active Inspire on your computer, on the toolbar, click on the Tools icon, it's the one with the hammer and the wrench. Once that menu opens, click on More Tools, and then you'll see the screen recorder. Notice you can record the full screen or just an area of your screen. I'm going to click on full screen. As soon as you click on full screen, it will give you this little recording menu. When you click the red record button, it'll pop up um, a directory asking you to choose a location to save your file and to give a name to your file. As soon as you click save, then it will start recording whatever is on your screen. Notice the red record button is flashing back and forth between red and blue to let me know that it is recording. Now you can use this tool to record a flip chart, a PowerPoint, anything on the internet, anything displayed on your screen. So here I'm just going to demonstrate with a flip chart. So I have my flip chart open. I would start my lesson, talk to the students about what we're learning today. As I turn the pages of the flip chart, or as I write on the flip chart, everything is recorded and then even my voice is being recorded. So I'll just continue with my lesson. Once my lesson is complete on the menu toolbar, I'll just click the stop record button. That will then save my file in whatever location I chose to save it in. Now the next thing you would want to do is actually take that video and post it somewhere that your students can see it. Now my recommendation is that you post it into YouTube and then embed it in your It's Learning course. So let's go through those steps. I'm going to minimize Active Inspire. I've logged into It's Learning already and I'm going to go to Google Apps. So I'm going to click on the More tab, click on Google Apps, it'll open my Google Drive. All teachers in Forsyth County do have a YouTube account through Google Apps. So if I go here to the Google Apps icon, click on it, I'll see the first list of apps. If I click more, there I'll see YouTube. So I can click on YouTube and it will open your YouTube account. To upload your video, all you need to do is click the upload button in the upper right hand corner. Once the upload screen opens, just click where it says select files to upload. Your directory should open. Navigate to where you saved your video file. Choose the file, click open, and it will begin uploading your file. As it's uploading and processing, go ahead and give your file a name, give it a description so that anyone will know exactly what that video is for. So I could say video about how to use the screen recorder in Active Inspire. I could tag this with some keywords. And then hopefully by the time you're done inputting that information, it will have been uploaded and processed. So now I can click the publish button. Once the video has been published, you will see the URL of where that video resides in YouTube. But to put it in its learning, I recommend you click on the embed tab. There's the code we're going to need, but remember I always encourage you to click show more and scroll down and uncheck that box that says show suggested videos. You don't want those suggested videos. So uncheck that. Now go back up here, highlight the code, right click, copy the code. Now I'm ready to go back to my It's Learning course. So I'm going to click on It's Learning. I'm going to go to one of my courses. I'm going to put this video in a note. So my tree, I'm going to go ahead and click Add choose note, call this lesson video, 
Remember, you can type any directions you need to there in the text box. So tell the students watch the following video. When you're ready to embed the video, click Source. Right click and paste the code from YouTube in there. Click the Source button again to see where the video is going to play. Type anything more if you need to. Click the Save button. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on that note. Ta -da, there's my video ready for my students to watch. Hope this helps you flip your classroom.